Hey guys, I am so excited. This is probably the best data studio visualization on the internet, hands down, no questions asked. And uh, if you want to download it, go in the like in the link down below, datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube and grab it. That's, that's it guys. It's called, let me just intro it to you. It's called the super scorecard. And you can do all of this right over there. Uh, you can do all of this with one element. Let me just show you live demo. I'm gonna build an entire data studio report without using a single other element aside from this super scorecard. And I'm gonna let you know a little hint is we're releasing more features pretty soon and it's gonna be freaking epic. So let's just hop into it. It's gonna be so cool. So what you can see right here in this lovely data studio report is we've got page views. Scorecard, nothing fancy, but this is, de this is deceiving because this is in fact the super scorecard. Now, what do you mean by super scorecard, JJ? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. So here we have the date range dimension. So right here, date range dimension, you add in your date range dimension. We are here, we're using a big query table just for the sake of uh, being extra. Um, it's GA4 data, but who cares? Next thing we have is our uh, dimensions, right? So here we're going to add our date dimension first. Here we use the event date um, from again GA4 BigQuery link. Don't worry about it. Uh, and then you can add in your metric of page views. All right, here we're on page views. You can add whatever your heart desires, and you can have sort by ascending or descending. So, what? Where is the super? You're like, where is the super JJ? And let me show you where that comes into play. First thing we're gonna do is add a date control because we're we're wilding out here and we're looking at a lot of dates at once. That is not a date range control, that is a data control. All uh, right, date range control. Let's just add it up here in the top little right hand corner. We're then gonna look at, let's just look at this last month. How do you look at last, last month? Boom, okay, boom, awesome. Don't judge my page views. I see you judging. Okay, so here's a super scorecard, here it is. Now let me just show you where the magic comes into play. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, all right? Just for the sake of this demo. We're gonna go into style and what we're gonna do is we are gonna turn on the cool thing. So right here under hide chart, we are gonna unhide the chart. Bam, we got a time series with our page views in the same element. Cool, right? Awesome, we got a single thing. It is dynamic, this is the other cool part. So if I scale it, right, we're looking at an entire month and you can see it's skipping days for the visual aspect. If I hover over it, I can see every single day. Right, pretty sweet, am I right, am I right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is it's dynamic, so if you make it a little bit of a chart, we are now skipping days so it fits right here, but you can still see every single day that you'd like to. I know, so if you wanted to, you could make a bunch of little scorecards here. They are all dynamic, so you can scale them up, scale them down, the little, little tiny uh, data right here, or you can make it much bigger. I know, pretty cool. You can do the entire thing. Now, let me draw your attention over here to the style tab. Look at all these glorious settings, guys. I don't think you can understand the amount of work that we put in to make these style settings available for free, mind you. Um, and so here, first off, let's take a look at this. Minimal version, bam, maybe you just want a little line, cool. Then you can change this to be darker. Now you've got a little tiny line. Maybe you wanna make the line thickness skinnier. Maybe you're like, hey, I want a skinny line. That's cool. Maybe you're not thick like the rest of us. All right, maybe you want a thick line. Boom, thick line, good to go. Maybe you wanna change the opacity. You wanna put something behind it. Don't worry, we got you. 100% opacity, bam, done. All right, now let's hop into the rest, that, no, the cooler parts. Under setup, you go down here and you can look at the last month or the, the previous period. Let's just put on the previous period, boom. Look at that, folks. Now we're hovering over. We are taking a look at exactly what's happening in the previous period, on this period, and we are off to the races. We have relative change. We've got absolute change all in a single scorecard, one element. Isn't that pretty neat? If I don't taste it myself, pretty cool. So that is the super scorecard, everybody. It's cool, it's awesome. There are a few gate-kept features. Um, the features are gonna come to you on the paid version. All the things I've showed you are the free version. This right here, free version. It's enormous. So let's just make a whole report with this. 
the beauty of this thing is, is, is that you can actually come in here and you can hide any piece. So let's say you wanted to, for example, hide the absolute or the, the relative change. So you don't have the percentage change because you wanted to show how many numbers you're going up or down. We're down 124 page views from last period. Oh my goodness, let's hop into it. Um, maybe you wanted to hide the absolute changes. Now we just got a scorecard that has the metric name and the actual um, chart thing. Maybe you wanna actually hide the metric name because you don't care what we're looking at. We're just going up. We're going up to the right, that's all it is. So these are all options you've got. You can even hide the actual name. Now we're looking at just this, like this doesn't make any sense because you just use Data Studios One, don't use ours for a single like scorecard. Does not work. Like it, it works, you can do it. I just wanna say probably other ways to do that. Maybe you wanna just, for example, hide the chart and you wanted a blank box. Boom, we got that solved for you. So maybe you wanted to just show the metric name. Can do that. Any combo of these things you can do. So that is where it's cool. Other options, we've got stylistic options. We've got a bar chart right here, boom. You wanna see it in bars, problem solved. You're gonna see it in the default version, which is my personal fave, which we can change the uh, the weight, or not the weight, the uh, see-through ability. So now we have a little rim uh, action right there. You can go around, you can fill it with whatever color your heart desires. You can change the previous period color to orange. Who doesn't love blue and orange, honestly? Um, and so here, you can have all these things. And maybe you want to, maybe you're a design snob. I am a little bit of a design snob, but not like super pixel perfect. But here, you can change the line thickness. You can change, let me just hold this button. We got the metric value size. So maybe you want to make this sucker bigger. No problemo. We got you covered. Maybe you want to make the metric, um, you want to indent a little bit, right? You want to maybe bring the padding down, boom. Right, maybe you wanted to have it on the left, uh, aligned left, right? These are now aligned left. Maybe you want to align them right. That's okay too. You can align them right. It's gonna be glorious. All right, and then maybe, just maybe, you were like, let me come in here and let's go down here and let's change the, pers like we can change the names, right? So maybe you want to make these suckers really small. You're like, hey, let's make these small. It's okay. People can zoom in if they want. So all these are like, again, 100% free. Don't even have to give your email address, although I prefer it if you did. Um, but all of these are, again, I'm just kind of playing around here, but you can adjust these however you'd like. And then we can come over here and we can show you one more thing. Say you're just like, I don't even care about your little chart thing. Let's turn this sucker off, right? So come down here, hide chart, boom. And you wanted to make the underneath. Once they snap like that, boom, underneath. So now what we can do is we can have absolute change and relative change on a scorecard. Let's just copy and paste these. Let's do page views. Maybe we wanna do, what else we got? Users, right? I don't think there's any e-commerce up in this joint, so we're not gonna do that. Um, we're gonna do users. Maybe we got sessions, right? I don't know, whatever you want. You can do any of them. You can do record. Let's just do event count. Is it record count? Boom. Well, guys, all of it is possible. And then the, the beauty of this whole situation, right, is if you select them all, head over to style, uncheck this. Look at this, look at this. Let me just get my head out of the way. Oh my gosh, can you, can you imagine? I think you can see the utility, right? Boom, bar chart. Boom, bar chart. Boom, make this not blue. Boom, bar chart. Make it, I don't know, purple. Obviously, obviously the, the colors need a little bit of work, but I think you can see how this is like, we already have a whole freaking thing. You can send this to a client right now and be like, look at this, pretty cool. You hit over to view mode, hover over it, it shows you exactly what is happening, right? So again, go, I'm just gonna give you the, right now, the, freaking call to action, download it, super scorecard, datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube, and let me know your feedback. It is late right now, obviously you can tell, but I am so excited to release this and hit publish on this awesome resource for the Data Studio community. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.